have watched the first episode of this course, then you should probably remember this table. It contains units of physical quantities that are used in the SI system. Look at her. She thinks she's a queen or something like that, doesn't she? Other units of measurement are obtained by adding prefixes that we've shown you in this table. So, let's discuss this statement with examples. Look. Ampere and milliampere. Meter and centimeter. Joule and kilojoule. And so on, you should have understood what we were talking about. Those of you who have ever faced solving problems, especially in physics, must have noticed one sometimes very inconvenient thing. Physical quantities are often given in different units of measurement. So, it turns out that you not only need to choose the right formulas to solve the problem, calculate everything and write it down correctly. But you also need to convert all units of measurement to the SI system. Did you hear what he said? What an apt remark. Oh, come on. Can't you see the importance of this topic? How are you going to solve problems without being able to convert one unit of measurement to another? Somehow. I'll figure it out as I'll go along. Finally, you've done the tough job, solved the problem, received an answer. Well done. You think you can finish, don't you? Nope. The story isn't over yet. The number you have can be very unwieldy, so you'll need to make a more convenient unit of measurement out of it. What do you say? Conversion. Again. At least you are interested in what I'm saying. Yes, we will convert again. Therefore, we must learn how to convert one unit of measurement to another. Well then. Stop talking and finally get some work done. <laughs> Firstly, let's consider rule number one. According to it, we will convert to the SI system. Everything is simple here. We replace the prefix with the corresponding factor. Let's convert 2 kilometers to meters. We simply write down 2. And multiply it by the factor of the prefix kilo, which is 10 to the third power. 5.3 centimeters convert to meters. We write down 5.3 and multiply it by the factor of the prefix centa, which is 10 to the negative 2 power. Convert 4 milliamperes to amperes. So, we write 4 and multiply it by the prefix milli, 10 to the negative third power. 90 microcoulombs equal 90 times 10 to the negative sixth power coulombs. 2.5 megajoules equal 2.5 times 10 to the 6th power joules. 0 0.3 kilopascals equals 0 0.3 times 10 to the 3rd power pascals. Now let's take a look at rule number 2. Here, we convert units of measurement from the SI system to other units. Here we do exactly the same thing as we did according to the first rule, only with changing the sign of the exponent to the opposite one. For example, convert 5 meters to kilometers. We write 5 and multiply it by 10 to the negative third power. See, the sign of the power was changed to the opposite one. 1.2 meters convert to centimeters. We write 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the second power. Do not forget to change the sign of the power. Convert 6 pascals to kilopascals. This means that 6 must be multiplied by 10 to the negative third power. Convert 500,000 joules to megajoules. After the equal sign, we write down 500,000 and multiply it by 10 to the negative sixth power. And this equals 0 0.5 megajoules. If you didn't understand how we've done this trick, do watch the first episode of the course. Everything will become clear at once. And we move on. 0 0.004 amperes need to be converted to milliamperes. We write down 0 0.004 without changes. Then we change the sign of prefix milli's exponent to the opposite one. And multiply by 10 to the third power. So we get 4 milliamperes. If you learn prefixes and corresponding factors well, then everything will be so simple. Or, if you smartly spy them somewhere. Hey, Kippy. It's so inappropriate in studies. The only thing I really worry about is that we could get confused when deciding if we should change the sign of the power or not. <laughs> you bet. The level of stress is off the scale. Hey, Kippy. Come on, Professor. Don't be such a nerd. I'll explain to all faint-hearted ones. What's so hard about that? 
If we take our unit and convert it to the SI system, we act according to the rules. We take the factor from the table. And if we take the unit away from the SI system, it looks like we are acting against the system. So, we change the rules. I mean the sign of the power. Not a single book explains this rule in your way. It's not a scientific explanation. I know that. That is why there are still people like you who don't understand how to convert units. My rule is okay. Everything is clear. Oh, I'll definitely get myself fired soon. And finally, here is rule number three. For those who find it difficult to make a conversion, such as from kilo to mega or cento at once, you can do it in two steps. Firstly, you will apply the rule number one, and then the rule number two. Just look. Let's convert three kilometers to centimeters. Write down three. Then, according to the first rule, we convert kilometers to meters. It means that instead of the prefix kilo, we should write down a factor, 10 to the power of 3. And now, according to the second rule, we convert meters to centimeters, which means we should multiply everything we've written by 10 to the power of 2. Do not forget to change the sign of the exponent. As we know the exponent rules, we get 3 times 10 to the fifth power. You can leave the answer in this form, or you can write it down like this. 300,000 centimeters. 5.4 millimeters we'll convert to decimeters. We leave 5.4 without changes. According to the first rule, instead of milli, we take the appropriate factor. It is 10 to the negative 3 power. This way we get meters. And now, according to the second rule, we multiply everything we've written by the factor of the prefix deci with changing the sign of the exponent. It is 10 to the first power. All this is equal to 5.4 by 10 to the negative second power decimeters or 0 0.054 decimeters. That's it. Now it's your turn to convert units a bit. The main thing is to remember that, when you are going against the system, do change the rules, I mean the signs. You'll find the answers by the link in the description.